What's guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the third episode of Combatants Will Be Dispatched. This one's titled The Right Way to Clear a Tower. I guarantee you it's not the right way to clear a tower, but we'll go with it. Um, so, I've been very, very lenient with this series. Because Mondays aren't exactly a busy day, I'm just coming off the back of a very busy Sunday. I like to have a chill day, so I've just been kind of forgiving of this show, because I, I'm still not into it two episodes in. I'm hoping this episode might start to give me something, because if not, I'll probably just drop it here. You guys then can read the title, you already know what my decision is going to end up being. Or if the fact this video doesn't even come out, you'll also know my opinion. Um, but yeah, because most of the other new shows on today's slot were kind of mediocre as well, I was kind of hoping, like, okay, maybe this is the one that I can salvage. Uh, turns out uh, Dragon Ghost House Hunting was kind of salvageable with the second episode, for sure. Um, let's see if it continues that way. And I obviously love Moriarty. I, I was very invested in the first half of that show. This one, I want to like it. It seems like a show I would like. But at the same time, there's nothing about it that I like. <laughs> like I'm kind of interested in the world to an extent because there is uh, human technology here of like old human technology, but it's also super old to people of this world, which is bizarre. Implying that maybe our world has come here before at some point. Um, in some way. Uh, I like the idea of the evil points and doing evil things just to get... Um, just to get uh, supplies to fund whatever world conquests are going for. But the characters themselves I don't like. Like, I don't like Six. I, I don't find him likable in any way. I like Alice. Like, I like her personality type. I like the... Um, like, emotionless, the emotionless badasses, almost, of the group. And the fact, she's a fucking lolly with a shotgun, I mean, come on. Um, it's just an interesting one for there. Uh, and then we have Snow, I don't really care for. Then we have the two new ones, uh, which was uh, Grim and who else? Rose. Was it Rose or Rose? I forget what they said, that's how it looked like it. Like, the Chimera type character is interesting. And then we have this Archpriest Grim, who's bound in a wheelchair, and yes, I realise that she's not actually bound to a wheelchair, it's just because she cursed herself that like she can't wear shoes. I, I did pick that up. Like, I'm not that idiotic. I do pay attention to the show. But... I That made me like her less, honestly. Like, for such a dumb reason to have that be a defining character moment is like... It kind of made me like her less, honestly. Also, it's a case of, you can't wear shoes, put some socks on and deal with it. Like, eh. Uh. And the fact they spent so many points to get her a new wheelchair as well. Like, I wonder how many points it actually cost them to do that, in all honesty. But, um, yeah. Well, maybe they got it for free. It was like, oh, it's part of your party and they're an invalid, which they're not. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. I don't really like either of them so far. Rose has the better potential. Like, of all the characters that we've been introduced to that I'm going to like, Alice is probably number one. Rose might be number two. And then the rest, honestly. I don't know if I could pick a third favourite out of the entire group. Maybe the, um... Maybe whoever the, uh, 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 princess was. Tillis, right? Maybe I'll like her, just because she's kind of not there for a lot of it. And all the supreme leadership from Kisaragi Corporation and that, don't like any of them. It's like... And there's really not a lot I, I like about this show, but I want to like it. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm not here to hate on the show. I don't want to hate on the show. I don't want to hate on any show that comes out in the season. Like, I wanted to really like Kramer, because it was the creator from your, uh, uh, yeah, your line April. I was like, this could be a really good emotional journey. And then it looked terrible. And it just was a production mess. Uh, this episode has to be the one. And I guess we'll see what ends up happening. This would give us a bit more time to develop our side characters as well. Uh, also, I'm not even going to touch on the whole Elite Four business, because, my god, that was kind of terrible. Um... But I guess we'll see what ends up happening. I, I can't really say too much more. I just need to watch this episode, either actually finish it and give my verdict at the end, or cut it off halfway through and none of you ever see this, basically. Um, but yeah, as per usual, uh, these are time based form actions here on YouTube. If you want to see the full Patreon picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. £4 a month gets you access to all Patreon picture actions I do on the channel, which is everything from the seasonal lineup, as well as Patreon request shows such as World Trigger, Local Horizon, and Symphony G, the three that we're doing this season. 
Uh, we'll be moving on to Lower Horizon uh, 2 at the end of this month into the beginning of next month. That uh, should be when we transition over into Season 2 of Lower Horizon. Um, War Trigger we're a ways from, and Simply G will be the entirety of this season. Um, yeah, we also have movie reactions in the form of Weather Review the movie coming later this month. It'll either be today's on Mondays, uh, or it'll be on a Saturday. I'm not quite decided which one it's going to be just yet, uh, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, here on YouTube we have to do time base. So bottom left of the screen you'll see a time of the episode. I count down 3 to 1 play. Then play you the episode, I cite the episode, and we should be in sync. Watch this one on Funimation since they licensed it. Uh, we have the Kalikawa logo, then the Funimation logo. So about 10 seconds of logos, give or take. I'll call them out as I go past, but you can also use screen flash on my face, or the mic, or this part of my headset to tell when the scene transitioning. So, with all that said, let's get into uh, the third episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Kalikawa. Funimation. Cheers. Here we go. This is our influence. <laughs> okay. This is honest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wow. The chosen one. Interesting. That'll be the hero, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. 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 It... What? The hell does that mean? Oh, lovely. Right. <laughs> no. Ah, that makes more sense. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. You're here to take over this world, so... No be time. So I love that she just gets a rocket launcher.
Oh boy. <laughs> As you do. And once we eat that. Is that the same thing that. Oh! Interesting. I mean, you he wasn't wrong about that. Sure. Jesus Christ. Interesting. Right. Yeah, no, not going to happen. Hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> no. Unfortunately not. I I mean you technically have at this point? I can't remember actually. <laughs> wow, okay. There you go. Uh, many people would disagree about that. Oh 
Okay. Okay. That's the towel we're gonna clear, I guess. And that'll go poorly. Okay. Okay. Why don't we just parachute in from the top? Not possible, but you know. <laughs> or you can just bring the whole tower down and hope the treasure is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Smoke them out. And it goes poorly. Well, we don't actually know. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun. Mm-hmm. So you gonna climb up the side of the tower.
Why not? They should have fought some exterior defences. Well, I, I hardly expect they expect this. I mean... So you can barely hold on. Mm -hmm. Good catch. He's pretty strong. Sure. That's why. Yes. <laughs> wow. Normally, anyway. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So easy. But now. It's funny how we're earning evil points off the demons. I don't know, it just feels kind of odd in that way. Mm. 
<laughs> there we go. Nice. Right. Wow. It's pretty damn good. <laughs> I don't think that's the issue. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Wow, that episode. That was a full episode? Okay. At least it went quick. I've got a preview for next episode, I guess, or after credits or whatever. Oh, yeah, it's this after credit bits for these people. How to defeat an evil leader? Okay. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can he do more than that? Okay, yeah. I, I, my mind's pretty made up at this point. I'm dropping this. I, I just don't. I just don't know what I'd be sticking around for at this point. That's the. That's what I'm really asking myself more than anything. It's like, what am I sticking to this show for that I can't get from any other show of the season? Or I can find a better example of that I can just go watch now. And I'm not in it for the characters. I'm not in it for the world anymore. I'm not really in it for the comedy. Like, it gets a few chuckles out of me. Because it's very easy to make me laugh. Like, I'm, I really don't have a high bar of comedy. Like, the dumb shit. Like, even stupid shows. Like, um, what was that one show from Winter 2020 that I dropped very, very quickly but still got a laugh out of? 
what was it? Let's see if I can find it. From 2020, winter season. Uh, only show my anime. Let's see, where was it? Not Dendrogram, not Pets. Destructive Gods sticks next to me. Like, I didn't really like that show. But it still got a laugh out of me in the end. Like, that one episode did get me to chuckle a couple of times. I don't have a high bar of comedy. Most shows, whether intentional or not, can get a laugh out of me. It's not hard. But even then... I don't know what I was sticking around for. This episode went by very, very quickly, which is a blessing in of itself, I guess. But, like, the entire situation with those two, like, wasn't really satisfying. Like, I didn't find any satis satisfaction in the way that he handled it, and, like... Like, he does have the abilities and makings of an OPMC-type character, but it's just not satisfying when he does anything. I feel like they're underplaying the capabilities of being able to bring in anything they want from their world to this world to influence it. I feel like they're completely underplaying it. Like, okay, we got, like, the nail gun thing to put the spikes into the wall. That apparently we, I guess we ordered in at some point. I didn't remember ever picking that up, so I guess we ordered that before we went on this mission. Um, and then, yeah, we got the shotgun which has been very limitedly used right now. Um, which, which makes a good point from Alice. Like, the shells cost money. We have a limited supply. Uh, it, we have no... Po this is going to sound like a really, really weird comment for me to make as well, but we have no idea of the economy of this show. Like, how easy is it to acquire evil points? How many evil points do you need to fund ammo for a shotgun? Or ammo for anything? Like, could we get a handgun and go around with that? How effective would a handgun be in this world? Like, would the monsters that we face have hide thick enough to stop a regular 9 mil hound gun? Or something like that. Will we need to get something bigger, like a 7.62 round or something? You know, like, those types of questions. But yeah, like, this show just doesn't do anything for me. And the side characters, again, were very, very basic in their portrayal, again. Um, like I said, they got a laugh out of me because they're kind of dumb in their own way, but... Yeah, it's just a very meh start to the show, and it didn't really pick up at any point for me. So I've given it its fair free episode rule, which is more than I can say for some other shows of the season. Um, so I've given it every chance to really grip me. Just didn't do it, so we're going to call it there. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series nonetheless, and I hope you, if you are continuing it, I hope you find your enjoyment in it. It's not for me, personally. Like, I, I can't switch off my brain and enjoy this one. I'm too nitpicky on it, and at this point, I don't need a show like this to just turn my brain off to. I have other shows this season that I can do something similar and still get as much enjoyment out of, so it just falls short compared to the rest of the season, because this is another really good season. Like, we've had back-to-back -back really good seasons, and this just doesn't make the cut, unfortunately, for me. So, that's why I'm dropping it. Um, so, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, leave a like, as well as your comments, what you thought of the series, and if you're continuing it. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe to see other Spring 2021 shows that uh, we're doing on the channel. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of shows still to go, especially on Sundays, where we do six a day. So, there's probably another show for you that I'm watching this season. So, thank you for watching. Till next time. See you guys later.